left Memphis it was 70 degrees and it's six degrees here in Denver so quite quite the change Uh, being with Mark, I think, is representative of a point in my career of understanding that asking for help is a good thing. That I think that asking for help is one of the only ways that you can truly grow. Because I think if you're totally siloed and if you're on your own and think that you can do it on your own, that like you're not going to be able to reach the potential that that is inside of you and the potential that's out there. So Mark over here we're hanging out for the next 48 hours it's kind of a representation of that of asking for help so Mark's Mark's a dude who is helping me even though I do have a successful business is helping me understand maybe some weaker areas for myself some areas where I can work some areas I can work on um, some points where I have done a good job but I could do better um, and so, yeah, I think that asking for help is a good thing and it's something that you should strive for. Is I remember early on in my journey, when I was first getting started ever in filmmaking and didn't even know what Aperture and shutter speed and all that stuff, I didn't know what any of that stuff was, there was a guy who was several steps ahead of me and I asked him for help. And that set me on the trajectory of being able to actually have a filmmaking business to do something that I absolutely love. But if I hadn't asked him for help, then I don't think I would have ever gotten started down this journey. So that's the one thing I wanted to ask Mark. As much as you definitely, or I highly encourage you asking for help, especially if you want to move to that next stage in your business, it's like, it's, it's the opposite of like, you should also go look to be helping other people too. And whatever that area of expertise you have, because it's twofold, like it, it's obviously helpful for other people but it's like now it's like I'm learning just as much from Trent as he's learning from me because we're learning that we have different skill sets and different levels and so I don't know just by putting yourself out there and asking for help and helping other people you'll just be really amazed by the amount that you can learn on either side because it's not just learning from people who are more experienced from you but there's also so much learning to be done from people who you're helping and mentoring because they probably have something to offer you that you're not too great at or you know a process or a system that they do that you're like oh man I could implement that into my business All right, so we are in Vail, Colorado. Check this out, look at this out there. Look at that. Slopes are right there. So I feel like in entrepreneurship, starting your business, whether it's in creative or whatever it is, obviously, obviously, especially for us in the creative industry and filmmaking and photography, there's so much emphasis placed on just hustle, like the mm. hustle, hustle culture. But I don't feel like there's as much preached or emphasis placed on asking for help, you know, and how important that is to ask, ask for help. And I think that's just, it's not weak, it's not, uh, you know, small of you, it's not, no, actually not asking for help, as, especially as an entrepreneur, but I think as a human in general, it's just going to build and build and build, and then you're, like, at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to really achieve the goals, right, yeah. that you have set out to achieve, like, you become more limited because you're preventing your own growth. 
I mean, you, you went through a whole having your whole agency and a whole business, <laughs> a whole business. That was one hundred and twenty thousand dollars in debt until I asked for help, Whew. and then that took probably a good three to four years to like learn how to not how to do it a better way you know maybe not the right way because yeah. i don't know if there is like a what, right way what is right mean? <laughs> but yeah. there is a better way and a more sustainable way not just financially but like uh longevity wise and your for your body your health your relationships because it just takes a toll when yeah. you just try to just push through it push through it push through mm-hmm. it work 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 yeah it's like snowboarding today <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We just hit a wall, and it was like, hey, we could push through, or we could take, like, an hour break. And then we went back out, and it was like, thank goodness we did Yeah, that. and it's not accepting defeat. I no. feel like I feel like that's the problem a lot of times with asking for help is that we feel like we're, in some capacity, like, accepting defeat. But that's, like, it's the opposite. It's like when you reach out for help, you're realizing that like you don't have all the answers you don't have all the abilities you don't have all the power you don't have all the knowledge and you're humbling yourself to a point where it's like no learning and getting somebody else's perspective and insight and honesty Mm. is what's going to allow me to move to that next level versus versus just like the the culture of just saying like well if you just work hard enough you'll get it and i think there is some strategy to well, how do I ask for help? Who do I mm. ask help? You know, who, who do I go to, right? And I think, like, it is really important that you go find somebody who has done what you're trying to do, right? Because they probably have a similar journey with similar struggles, similar challenges, and they can more quickly and accurately help you get past that roadblock or help you get past that challenge because especially as an entrepreneur a lot of people are going to give you advice <laughs> yes <laughs> but and, and people who are not entrepreneurs <laughs> like your your parents and your grandparents and other family and members they, they mean well <laughs> it's not like they're bad people but right they haven't been through what you're currently going through so it's like go find somebody who's a couple steps ahead of you all that to say it's okay to ask for help and out for those of you out there who are worried, struggling with that no, that notion, struggling with that fact, it's okay to ask for help, and you should ask for help. Mm-hmm.